Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah. I just gotta go hard. Uh. I just gotta go hard. Go hard. Go hard. What's up, everybody? Um. I got some exciting news. We're gonna be bringing some 470 racing to Florida. My um, my business, Virtual Speed Performance, we're putting on a uh, 470 index race at Eddie Chamberlain's Heads Up Mania All Index Shootout on September 9th in Brainton Motorsports Park. Uh, we're gonna have. There's also gonna be a very a variation of other classes such as um, 750, 650, 550, and somebody's. Grinding on some metal. It's okay. It's <laughs> Keep rolling. Anyways, uh, 550. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Um, 750, 650, 550, uh, 890, 790 junior directors. And there's even going to be a couple uh, quarter mile classes of 1150 and 1050. But um, we're, I'm excited to be able to bring uh, some 470 racing into it. So. On September 9th, check out Brandon Motorsports Park for Heads Up Mania All Index Shootout. We are working on the top secret project, so uh, we're going to try and finish the interior today, um, doing all the tin work and all that, so we can take it all out, paint the chassis, and um, get it all. Fourth of July weekend. Yep, Fourth of July. So you guys working on them projects? It's hot out. It is hot. <laughs> well, I'm ready. I'm ready to get with it. September's yep. coming fast. Yep. 470 races to do this winter. Yep. All kinds of stuff coming. All kinds of good stuff. And it's going to be on the Virtual Speed Performance YouTube channel. So. That's right. So we're going to take this seat out so we can get to this piece of uh, the floor here. And um, we'll put the new piece down. As uh, you guys can see, we got the new piece on that side down plus the firewall which we did the firewall last week and if you guys missed it in the last video we did a very dandy job my dad he got pretty sunburned last weekend somebody had the bright idea to not wear a shirt <laughs> i had the bright idea to just wear a little thing a little thing yeah not so much a tank top it's like a tank top yeah a little woman's blouse or something <laughs> wasn't very smart wasn't very smart and of course, for the first time in years, I start to peel, and it's on my back. And I, you know, everybody likes to peel because you know, you peel it off, spend hours doing it. But not when it's on your back and you can't reach it. And we're working on the drive shaft tunnel at this very moment in time, and get working on getting that fitted. What do you think? I like it so far. I think it's well, actually. I think for a couple guys who have never done it a little bit of seam sealer and some patch panels dude and i think it's going to be really really no, nice. but it's really not going to require a whole lot of patch no. panels if you really no, look at those it two up there i mean bit. and on our brake cylinder like we were going to but i was going to do that door anyway so they can add a doorbell yeah <laughs> ding dong for halloween <laughs> uh, trick or treat. yeah trick or treat got the old got the tranny tunnel in or mocked up so to Even speak. Closer, we're fitting it. We're going a little by a little bit. Yep, yep. Kind of, it's kind of difficult, but it's all right. We're getting there. It is and it isn't. Yeah, it's uh. Like, there's much better ways if you were a professional, but yeah. It's it's very you know, cut there, cut here, try it again, and but we got we got it in there for the most part. I mean, we got some more trimming and cutting to do, but she's in there like. We'll wear. So we got that going for us. He's over here down in the water. As Lou Tube says, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, y'all. We gotta be ready for September 9th. Break the motorsports park 470. It's going down, buddy. Well, after some cutting, some grinding, and a sandwich, and uh a lot of cuttings. We uh we got transmission tunnel in and the drive shaft tunnel, and I'll show you guys now. There she is, fellas. Looks pretty darn good for a couple of uh, novices. 
pretty good. The old drill master did pretty good. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and a claw hammer. Uh, yeah, yeah, the claw hammer is in that yeah, picture. In every video now. I'd, I'd rate my experience. I mean, there's still more to do, but I'd rate my experience like I'd give it an 8.5. Yeah, I think I personally think for two guys that have barely even ever cut any crappy patch aluminum panels, it ain't too bad. Pretty easy. The kit makes it so easy. I mean, no, it ain't custom one-off for this car, but you know, it's yeah, makes it painted and carpeted and. Everything's mounted there? Yeah. What's the guy's name, chassis engineer? What's his name? Clayton Murphy. Clayton Murphy. Clayton Murphy makes people... Clayton Murphy chassis engineering. Makes the job way easier yes. than, 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 than... Makes novices look like they know what they're yeah. doing. <laughs> it, 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 it does make it super easy. It even comes with the instructions that you need for it and where to put it. And, uh, it comes... Um, yeah, and stickers for my sticker guy. You got that upside down, but I'm a big sticker guy, so I like stickers. When I see the stickers, I'm like, oh, right. So, uh, yeah, it comes with the instructions. It even gives you some template uh, cardboard sheets and stuff for, like, the floors. Because we have a whole pile of just scrap over there that's, like, templates. Although, we, a while, like, a couple months ago, or not a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, we went to, like, Walmart and got, like, um poster board for templates but uh it gives you these big old pieces here i have a piece under here it gives you these big old pieces you could use as templates uh like for the floor or in several other things maybe for like the firewall and stuff like that but this one was for the floor i think or the firewall i'm, I'm not sure which one it was for but it was a car cardboard piece for a template and you guys, these were the old floors. That's a piece of metal that came with it. Honestly, you're going to have a whole lot of extra metal left over. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. So to close out the top secret project portion of this video, video, bear with me, I got hiccups. We got the transmission tunnel done. That's where the bottle brackets are going to go. The floors. And uh, the seat. We're gonna now the plan is to um, I guess, pull it all out. Obviously, a couple the two juices are gonna go there on each side, two here, two there, and pull it out, pull pull all this out, and then paint the cage. And then um, once the cage is painted, uh, put it in there for reals. 